to the cryptocurrency just shy of hitting this landmark price late on Monday. Bitcoin's recent surge in part was driven by Tesla's $1.5 billion purchase in the currency and also MasterCard announcing some plans to allow cardholders to begin uh, transacting in certain cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. My question to you is this. While we are seeing it become more pervasive, right, and a little bit more popular, I think we're also going to start to see some regulation, and that could put a, tam a tam you know, tamp down on this rally. Yeah, the big question is, is it a big bubble? And that's the question I get every single week. And what I have to start to wonder is, does cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin really do what it says it does? Now, like, number one, is it a safe haven? Um, you know, one of the questions is, if the world blows up, being in something like a Bitcoin, is that a safe place to be? Well, last year when the market sold off 30, 40 percent, so did Bitcoin. Um, so it didn't really offer protection when you look at it from that perspective. Also, is it a good store of value of money? Um, it's extremely volatile. If you look at like the average fluctuation monthly, it can go up 16 percent. It could go down 16 percent. So at, for every hundred thousand dollars you have sitting in Bitcoin, you could be up 116,000, or you could be down to 84,000. And lastly, is it really a medium of exchange? You know, last time I looked when I go to Starbucks. I still can't use Bitcoin. Right. Um, you might be able to buy munitions on the black market or something like that, but uh, you know you still can't use Bitcoin to do just normal transactions. So and I, I wonder, like Mastercard. Yeah, that's when it's going to start to make more sense to people. They're going to start to understand it better when they can actually use it, right? Yeah, because I think if I'm Mastercard, sure, I'll let you transact in it, but it's almost like providing the shovels during the gold rush. Right. <laughs> right. My Instagram story this morning, I said, you know, would you rather own here Bitcoin? Or would you rather own an old school stock like Exxon? Because as the economy reopens, mm -hmm. you know, it looks like, you know, we're going to be using more gas. We're going to be flying more a productive asset. So either Elon Musk is God and he's right here, or <laughs> eventually old school stocks are going to win. I'm going to bet on old school stocks, but you can also vote on my Instagram story I'm this morning. I'm not going to comment on if Elon Musk is God. I think uh, Twitter can take that <laughs> up for us.